Yo guys, what is up? It is Nick. Today I wanted to do a video. Uh, I've been awarded coins. Wait, how many coins did I get awarded? Hold up. Got awarded some coins for something. Hold up, before I get into this video, what the heck is this for? 10,000! Really? That's my compensation for the auction house odd outage that happened for like was it, it has to be two weeks two weeks at least i feel like all right but we've got some new stuff today and i also want to open up my award winners pack so first i wanted to start off i don't think i don't know if i mentioned it in a video or not but i have lasik eye surgery done so i don't have to wear glasses anymore and they want limited screens um mostly computer because you're close to it and you follow, your eyes follow, like read a lot on a computer. Uh, with my Xbox, I can sit back and stuff like that, but mostly it was with computer and phone. They wanted limited time on it, so I couldn't really make videos since I need my computer to record. So that's where I've been. Also in college, and with not being able to do anything on the computer, my major is cybersecurity, so almost all my classes are online, so I haven't been able to do that. So... I'm going to try to take today, tomorrow, and Monday and try to get all my homework catch up, caught up, caught up. My teacher was nice enough to give me a little bit of a time break on them because I had the surgery done. Uh, so I have, until, I have until like next Saturday to get it all fully caught up, but I want to get it done because we're still moving along in the class, so or the classes, so I need to get caught up. Uh, but I thought I'd make a video today. I got a couple of things to do. EA killed the auction. We'll start off first with EA killing the Elite Auction House. I uh, believe it was bronzes for Elite players yesterday. I'm not quite sure how you screw that up. I was at work, otherwise I would have done it, but... Let's go ahead and go all players, Elite... Actually, what's an Elite player? Hold on, we need, we need the base cards. What's a player that's a base Elite that I really wanted? Let's go with Cam Chancellor. I do actually want Cam. He's sitting at a, a great price of... Oh, oh, wait, 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 they went up. Okay, he, well, they still murdered the value, because he was like 70k, but the price did rebound on some of these cards. I'm not exactly sure how it rebounded, but it did rebound. Last night, Cam Chancellor was going for like 17k. Like, we had some ridiculous value out here. And so anybody who, like, saved their elites and didn't sell them last night actually made a nice little bounce back. But first of all, we've got new legends. We've got new solo challenges and rewards. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. This will be a decently, not a decently long video, but it will have a little bit of stuff in it. So we have a new gauntlet, and it rewards, like, 105,000 coins, roughly. So what packs are we looking at in the gauntlet? So we got a pro pack. We've got contract packs that no one cares about. Another pro pack. An all pro... Okay, so these rewards are actually looking kind of nice. Another all pro pack. So we got two pro... A legends pack. And an elite player pack. Alright, so this is actually not bad rewards. I have to take care of these. Uh, contract reward pack. Another pro pack. So it looks like... You're going to get a, a few pro packs. You're going to get a few all pro packs. You're going to get a, a couple legend packs, two elite player packs, and let's see, same thing, yeah. So you're looking at six pro packs, you're looking at uh, six all pro packs, and you're going to be looking at two or three legends packs, and three elite player packs. So that's actually really nice. The Gauntlet for October is actually really nice, gives you a lot of coins, it's going to give you uh, some decent packs and some good players, so that's interesting. I would suggest saving them. I would actually suggest saving them for not this week. Don't open them this week for these legends. Wait until next week and open them for those because most people won't have the patience to sit and keep them uh, for that long. So we have the... These are actually two new legends to the game entirely. Uh, we'll also go over the new um, Team Hero sets because I believe we should have new Team Hero sets. Uh, let's see. Where is Legends? Okay, so Legends, we have two new Legends, Will Shields and Mel Blunt. Both very good cards. Uh, the Mel Blunt, 
obviously a card that I'm interested in. I don't know if I'll actually pick it up. He's a 92 overall cornerback, and Will Shields is a 91 overall right guard. Uh, obviously, the collections work like they have all year, so I'm not going to go into those with the collectibles, but we will go take a look at these cards real quick. And then I'll see if they added new Man of the Month set yet, or if we're still li lagging behind, because technically it is October 1st. Okay, so let's go Legends. And let's go Cornerback. Alright, he's going for a lot. Okay, my Sam Madison's... I want to re-pick up my Sam Madison here eventually whenever I pick up Crow Marty because they pair together. So eventually here I'm going to pick my Sam Madison and Crow up. Uh, and I probably will try to get this Mel Blunt because I think Crow Marty's pick specialist. So then I could pair Mel Blunt with the lockdown defender part of Sam Madison. So we'll see about that. But Mel Blunt going for 650 k for his 48 hour. And going for four 400k for his regular. Someone actually bought this. Like, do people not have the patience to wait like two days until he come down in price? Uh, but let's see here. He's got 90 speed, 91 excel, 87 agility, 91 man, 88 zone, 93 press, 90 player recognition, and 71 catching. So exactly the corner type of corner that I like on my squad. So definitely have to look into picking him up here soon. Uh, and then we have our right guard, Will Shields, going for 180k, 350 for his 48 hour. And he's got 91 strength, 92 run block, 90 pass block, 88 impact blocking, 92 awareness, 87 stamina, 58 speed, and 54 agility. So not a bad card at all. Both pretty good legends, some of the better legends that have come out. One of the better offensive linemen and probably the best secondary player that's come out. All right, so let's take a look at Team Heroes, and they have not updated this, so they expire. Okay, so it refreshes on October 1st. I may hit you guys with the video later because I should be able to complete a lot of these sets when they turn over for the Man of the Month, and if they do turn over today, I will go ahead and make a video of me doing most of those if they, tend, if they end up being the same way that they are now. Now, on to Redemption, we do have an awards winners pack. Now, obviously, I'm looking for the Tyrod Taylor. Uh, if I pull the Tyrod Taylor, I may actually keep him, um, but I'm not entirely sure. And then we'll go take a look at Cromarty's price and see if I'm interested in buying him for the ridiculous price that he probably is. All right, so here we go. Add this into the set. I won't be doing any more award winners packs, but let's go ahead and open this up, see what we can pull. All right, Vernon Davis. I think he's going for like 40, 50k, not not a good pull at all, but I will take it. But I, from now on, I think I'm just going to do the, um, the, probably the pro pack. I'll probably just do the pro packs from now on, because uh, none of the other ones, like the Football Outsiders pack, that's like almost worthless. All right, I might actually do it, because it'll sell for like 3 or 4k a piece, so may actually be worth it but let's take a look here see how much this vernon davis is and what is this ea i thought you said the auction house thing was fixed so they compensated us coins for you know that needing to be fixed and then now it's not actually fixed well that's special and i didn't even get my ten thousand coins i had nine hundred and three thousand coins already so i didn't even get my ten thousand coins not that it's a big deal, but I didn't even get them. All right, so let's see here. Tight end. And award winners. All right, he's actually going for 98K. That's actually a lot more than I thought he was going for. So that's not actually too bad of a pull. I'll take it. Um, I actually spent like 100K trying to open up for Crow. And I didn't, obviously I didn't pull him, but it got me the the uh, collectibles I needed to finish up this award winners. I'll probably just sell him for 90, cut someone a little bit of a deal, and let's see here. What's Crow going for? Five, is he really going for 500k? He is, 500k. There are seven up on the auction, and the cheapest one is 500k. Like, I'm so tempted to buy him, but... 
I'm gonna just sit and wait. Um, I'd probably play like 300 for him, but I'm not paying 500k for a corner when he's not as good as the Mel, uh, the Mel Blunt guy that just came out. He, he's not even better than Mel Blunt, and Mel Blunt is cheaper, so why on earth would I buy Crow at this price? So we'll just have to sit and wait for Crow and Mel Blunt and Zad Madison, because those, I think, are the three corners that we really like to lock down my defense. Um, but we'll have to hold off for now. But that's going to do it, guys, for this video. I will hit you guys back up with a video if the Man of the Month stuff comes out today. And then I'll also be back probably Tuesday, probably Thursday with the flashbacks. I'll probably be back with flashbacks doing everyday things. So I will catch you all then. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.